Welcome to this week's episode of Building a WordPress Theme with Tailwind and Underscores. Today we are going to focus on the single post page as well as the comments form. And then we're also going to tweak our Tailwind configuration to slim down the size of our style.css file. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go into this first post here. Uh, first thing I notice is the layout is, is messed up. Our, uh, our sidebar is not over on the right. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, now before in the index PHP we had the sidebar inside of this um, this flex area right down here. The single post, however, is in this single.php file. And you see the sidebar is outside our, our main area. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's fix this up real quick. So we have our flex area, our primary and main, and on our single we have just primary and main. So let's just uh, let's copy these two out real quick. Place that. Let's add our extra div right here. Let's uh, clean up this PHP real quick. Put this on one line. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Now we need to display the entire post, not just an excerpt here. So let's look at how that is being generated real quick. So in here, this is using the same content that we were looking at before. So let's go into our template parts content. And if we look in here, we commented out our full content. We just have the post thumbnail and the excerpt. So what we need to do is do something similar to what we have up here where we have looking at a single post we're doing one thing otherwise do something else uh, so let me uh, let's grab this whole section here um, and let's just make a new section up here and we'll say php if is singular we're going to do something otherwise we're going to do this section and then we need to end our if. Alright, so one more time, if it's a singular, so we're looking at one post, we're going to do something, otherwise we're going to display the thumbnail and the excerpt. So in here, let's, uh, let's paste this in here. Um, now this is PHP code, so let's uh, open up PHP and close it. Now we can uncomment this, bring it back over, and this was all generated by underscores for us. We just commented out a few episodes ago. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so now we have the full post. Now our comment form looks pretty terrible right now. You can't see these boxes at all unless you click on them. Um, now we want to style these text areas and inputs for the entire site, not just in here. So let's do that. Uh, we'll go into SAS components. And we have our elements file, and remember this is for our HTML elements. This is how we styled all of our hyperlinks. Um, now we want them to look the same, other than the text area being a larger size. So we have text area and input. Now what do we want these to look like? Um, let's give it a, let's apply a border of maybe two. And let's say this border will be teal. Let's take a look at that. All right, we can now at least see them. Um, we want to definitely make these larger, so we'll want to add some padding. Let's do a uh, padding of two. There we go. That makes them a little bit nicer. Uh, this outline, though, I don't want it to be this color, so let's do a uh, outline of none. There we go. Now we can style our border how we want. Um, let's add some margin on these guys. So a margin on the top and bottom, maybe of two as well. Okay. That looks better. Um, I don't like how our labels are to the left of these. I'd like them to be on top. So what's going on here? We have inside of our comment form, we have a class of comment form here. We have a bunch of paragraph tags. Now, if each paragraph was flex, flex, column, 
that'll put the label on top of the input. So we want to modify the comment form class. Let's go into our components and create a new file called comments. And we'll want to go into our style and import components comments. Now in our file here, we want comment form, and we want every paragraph inside there. So we'll apply our flex, flex column. There we go, that looks much nicer already. So we've got our comment, comment box, our name, email, and website. Uh, however, I don't want this section to be a flex column because then we're going to have it stacked. We want it to be in one row. So let's fix that. We want all but the first one. So what we'll say is the paragraph tags that are not the first child. That should take care of it for us. There we go. So this is all in one line here. Then we have our comment, name, email, website. So let's add some extra margin on this uh, comments notes section. Get a little space between the leave it apply and the first comment box there. So we will say comment notes apply do margin y so top and bottom of two. And save that. All right, that looks a lot better. Now this button looks pretty ugly. Um, let's see what this is here. This is an input type of submit. So let's go back to our elements. Let's say input type of submit. Let's do and apply a background color of teal. There we go. We also need a uh, pointer cursor. Let's do cursor pointer, I believe it is. All right, now you can tell it, you can click on it. And let's do a little hover thing. So and hover, we'll do apply a background of teal dark, just to make it a slight change. There we go. We also need to change the border color. So let's do border teal dark. And while we're at it, let's add a little focus change here. And focus. So when we focus on a text area or an input, so when we have it selected, let's, uh, let's apply a border teal dark there as well. Um, now for this, we also want to make a transition. Um, I'm going to transition all just to make it so we can hit the uh, background and the borders of these two types. Uh, let's do 200 milliseconds with an ease curve. Let's check that out. So if we focus here, you can see the border slightly changes colors and the background eases in. So it's not as harsh, it's not a, a jagged change, it slowly changes. And the last thing is this comment section can get quite wide on a larger monitor. Um, I'd like to maybe keep it at a max width. So what we can do is go into our comments. We have our comments form. Let's apply a max width of small. Let's refresh that. All right, maybe a medium size. So max width of medium. All right, that looks good to me. I'd like to add one last thing to this episode. If we look into our uh, files here, our generated style CSS file is almost 280 kilobytes. That's quite large. And uh, the reason is because Tailwind is creating tons and tons of classes for, for all kinds of things that we're not even using. So let's go into our tailwind.js file. Now in here, you know, you can customize how Tailwind works quite a bit. Um, but there's a lot of things in here like like these red colors. We're not using red, but it's creating classes for red on borders and on backgrounds and text colors, um, and we don't need it. So I'm gonna leave transparent black and gray. I feel like those are useful. 
Uh, so let's take out the red. Uh, we're not using orange, we're not using yellow, we're not using green. Uh, we are using our teal colors. We're not using blue or indigo or purple uh, or pink. All right, so we got rid of those. So let me uh, run gulp one more time and let's see how this has affected the size of our style file. All right, it's now down to 180 kilobytes. So we can definitely do more, but just by removing these colors, we reduced the, the style CSS file by 100 kilobytes. And that's quite a bit. This is definitely important to keep in mind, um, especially as you get closer to putting a, a site on production where the size of this can slow down the loading time of your website. So it's definitely useful to go through and you know remove anything that you're not using from the Tailwind configuration. Um, you know, if you're not using this Excel, you can remove that. Um, you know, these fonts, we could definitely play with those. Um, text sizes, the same thing. Uh, so you want to make sure your your final style CSS file is as slim as possible. And that is it for this week's episode. Uh, next week, we're going to focus on uh, styling the actual comments that visitors leave on the post, uh, as well as doing an extra little bit of tweaks here and there to make the article itself look a bit better. So stay tuned, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up.